and Seva, holistic health and culinary coach from planwithseva.com. Hope you're doing well and having a fantastic week. Today I decided to show to you some tips and tricks that I do in my kitchen to make cooking faster, preserve my vegetables and save time and money during the week. So I went to the grocery store, got some carrots, celery, lettuce, romaine lettuce and some fresh cilantro and I'll show you some tips that I do and I hope you try them out. It will help you preserve your vegetables longer, have something on hand for your, for your uh, recipes and make cooking easier because you'll have meal prep in advance. So once you come back from the grocery store, if you could, or the next day, take about half an hour to an hour to chop your veggies, clean them, and um, it makes life so much easier because you save the time when you prepare your meals during the week. So I have some carrots here that I chopped in advance, um, that I chopped and I peeled and I put them in a glass jar, in a glass container, very important in a glass container. And I did the same for the celery. So I, I washed them, I chopped them and I put them in a glass container. So you buy yourself two glass containers like this or even bigger depending on the size of your family. And then once they're washed, chopped, peeled, uh, you can cut them the size that you need. Me like this, it's easier. I have these ready as a bite size uh, uh, snack with hummus, even for the celery, or I just chop them up and put them in my recipes uh, to make soups and other stuff. So I put them in glass containers, very important. And then you add some fresh filtered water in the glass container. This will help them preserve longer the veggies in the fridge and they're clean um, you have to change the water every three days three to four days I do it every three days but the veggies are gone by then because I redo them so you fill them up like this with water fresh water and there you go you put the covers on top so I have glass containers with plastic here and then you put these in the fridge and they're ready. So if your kids ever want a snack, they just open up, they take the vegetables and they, they can dip it in some hummus or other type of dip that you, you made for the week. Or you can prepare yourself a soup with some carrots, celery and onions for your base. And it'll be already done halfway. So you don't need to break your head like for that. So this is a very easy way to store these veggies, preserve them longer, and don't let them go to waste. And they're filled with vitamins and minerals, and they're so good for you. So try this tip out. Second tip that I have is with lettuce. So here I have some lettuce, Roman lettuce that I washed. I, there was a lot of dirt on these because they're organic. So if you can buy organic, try... Um, as much as possible, what you can afford, what you can buy. I try to buy my bell peppers, my lettuce, and a few of my fruits organic as much as I can. And now it's summertime, so we get to have fresh produce that costs a little bit less here in Canada. So we, uh, we got some lettuce. So I cut this lettuce up. Keep the, the leaves whole like this. Rinse them out. And I just pass them once in the spinner just to take out most of the water but do not do it off a lot because it will break the leaves and then they won't last that long in the fridge. So you take your lettuce and I have some of these containers. I don't know, there we go. These containers, they have holes like this. So what I do is that I put one towel, like paper towel like this on the bottom and then I just stack like this each of the romaine lettuce um, leaves. So I stack them one on top of the other. There's a little bit of moisture, which is normal, but they're not dripping water. So just stack them like that, one on top of the other. Some people put paper towel in between each lettuce uh, tower, but I don't like to waste paper towels like that. And I find this trick still works. So I take out most of the water and I just put one paper towel on the bottom 
And like I said, I don't keep these for days in the fridge. It's just maybe two days because it's gone. We eat salad very, like almost every day. And sometimes we just grab a few leaves like this here and there and we eat it with hummus. It's very yummy. You don't need dressing and all that stuff. You'll see once you start adding more veggies on your plate, you would, you will even like eating fresh lettuce leaves like this um, with uh, nothing on top. They taste really good. So then you just close it up and you store this in your fridge. Look how nice and tidy it is. So I hope you're enjoying the tips till now. So we did our carrots, we did our celery, we did our lettuce already. That's really fun prepping and all you have to do is bring it from the store, wash it, peel it if you have to, cut it up, and get yourself some glass containers, get rid of those plastics, they're not good for you, and uh, start prepping. So the last trick I'm going to show you is herbs. Here I have fresh cilantro. And the way I store this is that I, you buy uh, glass mason jars, like this, and you add water and you just dip inside the, um, the cilantro roots and you keep it in the fridge. What you can do to keep it fresh is to take a plastic um, sandwich bag and you just add it on top to help it stay fresh. But the roots are being hydrated and it keeps your herbs much fresher because cilantro does not last very long in the fridge. And instead of wilting, I do it like this. And you can do it with any type of herbs like um, parsley, basil, cilantro. So try it out. Uh, I did rinse my herbs a little bit in advance because they had a lot of, um, uh, you know, dirt. But you don't need to do much. After when you're ready to use it, just rinse it out and uh, put in your salad. Herbs have so much vitamins and minerals and they're so good for you. A little goes a long way. So preserve those herbs, put this in the fridge and nice fresh water. And you see I'm using glass. Glass is so important. Yes, the covers are plastic, but your veggies are in the glass containers. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you will try these four kitchen uh, hacks that I, you know, prepping ways to, to store your veggies longer. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more videos, subscribe to my channel, plantbasedeva.com, my website, and stay healthy. Bye.